what is good buddy it's your boy bar times two um before we even really get fully into this video i just like to firstly start off by saying um this is not some cruel april fool's joke um, i'm not quitting youtube or anything like that this is just something i genuinely just wanted to say kind of get off my chest it's kind of kind of for me and also for you guys at the same time and with that being said i just like to fully start off by saying i'm sorry um I know my uploads have been extremely spotty in the last two or three years, honestly. Um, it's it's been rough, and I'm gonna be honest, trying to stay motivated. It's it's been it's it's been hard. I've been going through a lot, um, a lot of mental hurdles that I'm trying to overcome. I'm just, there's just been a lot of things and a lot of excuses too. There's a lot of failed promises on my end for a lot of you guys, and you know I deeply do apologize for that. There are, you know, a few of you out there that have, you know, left comments in the past, DM me on Instagram, you're like, hey, Bar, you know, your videos really helped me get through my day. Um, thank you for doing this, you know, and, you know, I can see how this can kind of come off like a little bit cringy. You know, this is going to be one of those Yap Session videos, but uh, uh, that means a lot to me. And to know that, you know, there's these people out there that enjoy my content and use this as a safe space to escape reality, you know, that cruel, terrible world that we live in, um, it sucks. Uh, it sucks that I wasn't able to, you know, keep up creating content for those people like that. And, you know, the people that are sitting there, you know, and have been wondering, you know, when's Bar's next upload? When, you know, why isn't he posting as many videos anymore? And, like, he only posts, like, once every six, seven months, maybe once a year now. And, um, so I'm, I'm sorry, genuinely. Like, this is actually, like, a very serious, serious topic for me. And, um, it's something that I, I do take very seriously, and I do apologize. It's just, you know, <clears throat> not to come off, like, a juice or anything like that, but it's just a big, big problem with my, motiv my motivation. I've, I've had it for a long time. Um, it honestly started out with COVID. Um, I think that was really just a rough time for everybody, but I've really just never, I guess, fully recovered my motivation since then, especially for YouTube. Um... I was still in college at the time. Um, I wasn't working. I was in the fast food industry at the time. And, you know, we were all out for obvious reasons during COVID. Um, I was doing online school and I was pretty much just doing online school. And then right after that, I just would play games with my friends all day. I mean, I feel like most of us did that. But, you know, looking back, I really should have spent that time to just continuously motivate myself by continuing to upload and... Um, really capitalize on you know having that amount of time to do those things and I, you know i didn't it was hard you know being in your house all day long doing the same stuff every day it's really hard to you know break that that uh those bad habits and i just never really got out of them so uh and it sucks you know because i could probably be i wouldn't say probably i mean maybe like there's a very small chance a little stone in the pond but I, you know i could have been a bigger youtuber by now and you know i put that completely on me and it just, it sucks. It really does. Um, I, I really genuinely do think about it a lot. And I have a lot of regrets. And I just don't want to have those anymore. So this is kind of going to be like my last big push to try to make this stuff work again. Um, I, I really do want to go far with YouTube. I'd love to be a full-time YouTuber in the future. I mean, you guys have known this since I started that I just love to do that. It's never really been about money. It's never really been about the views. For me, this is just doing something that I enjoy, that I have fun with. And, you know, touching those few people out there in the world is just the biggest bonus you could ask for. And knowing that I failed those people is just crippling. It hurts. Um, but the motivation is really, really hard. And I've been, you know, going through a lot in life. I mean, about to turn 23 years old, and adulting hit me really, really hard. Um, I just recently moved back down to my hometown. Um, rent here is fucking outrageous. I'm going to be honest. I'm pinching pennies and just living paycheck to paycheck right now. Um, bills are hitting me hard and I'm still trying to find money to build my car and, you know, kind of make that dream work too. So between all that, I mean, I'm working like 50 hours a week right now. And when I'm not working, I'm either working on the car, um, hanging out with my girlfriend, hanging out with friends, um, or just playing games casually. And it's just been really, really hard to kind of push myself to, you know, put in that extra time for YouTube after, you know, coming home from a long 10-hour day, 
of working a really physical job. I'm, I'm, I work at a tire shop, you know, it's, it's, it's a very physical job and, you know, YouTube is extremely mentally taxing as well. I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, oh, I don't know why YouTubers need to take breaks, you know, it doesn't make sense. You're sitting in front of a TV playing games all day, but it is very, very mentally taxing to just constantly have on your mind, um, what kind of content do I need to make, you know, how should I do this differently, you know, just trying to force yourself to be creative is really, really taxing, and especially during a live stream, trying to keep people entertained for that entire live stream is, it's rough, to be honest, it's not for everybody, it's, I'm more tired from like a two hour live stream than I'm, than I am for like a 10 hour work shift, it's, it's insane, but it's just super mentally taxing. It's even harder after working a 10 hour shift, you know, try to stream for two hours or record a video. It's, it's, it's rough. I'm gonna be honest. You know, it's been like really hard to try to work back into my schedule and um, I want to make it work again. Um, I'm in a really rough point in my life right now. Um, you know, things are, you know, things are going well, but like mentally, I'm just not there. Um, odd times I'll wake up and just, just not want to do it anymore. You know, I'm just like, I just don't want to fucking do this shit anymore, man. Um, I don't want to go to work. I don't want to do anything. And it's just like, it's just, it's been crippling. I'm going to be honest. You know, I've, I've had those nights where I'll just go for a long drive somewhere and just, just listen to music, try to get away from it all. Or, you know, just go sit on the hood of my car in an empty parking lot for a couple of hours. And it's just, it's just how it's been, man. And, you know, I'm a huge advocate for uh, men's mental health. So, I mean, if you guys are out there going through the same thing, you know, I get it. You know, not just men's mental health, obviously, but I feel like it's one that's just not talked about enough. But I get it. You're not alone. And um, if my videos were helping you at all, I'm sorry that I didn't continue to make those. Um, I'm wanting to get back into it, but it was really, really rough there for a long time. Um, when I first started, you know, making GTA videos, GTA speed glitches, you know, car meets, everything, it was, it was fun. I love doing it. And... When you take something that you love and you do it too much, you begin to kind of hate it and resent it. And I've just, over the years, I've just really not enjoyed GTA, GTA as much anymore as a game. It's just not something I play anymore. I've, you know, I mean, obviously I've grown up since, you know, making those videos. My tastes are a little bit different in games. I play pretty much a little bit of everything nowadays, but it was getting really, really hard. And I had to like really actually force myself to make those speedless videos and it's just something you know I just didn't want to do it I just didn't want to do it anymore but I, I made myself do it for the people that liked them and that wanted them and it just eventually I just mentally checked out I just, I just don't want to do it anymore I just don't so you know I'm not gonna completely quit making GTA videos but I think the speed glitches I think I'm I think I'm done with them I just can't I can't bring myself to do something that I don't enjoy and that I can't put all of my effort and love and passion into anymore <clears throat> So I think that side of my content is at least going to stop, at least for now, until you know I do regain the passion for just making the Speakless videos. Like I said, we're not stopping GTA videos, but I want to branch out to new games. I really do. But I have always been just really afraid of just not being able to keep the following across those other games. Um, it's just kind of how YouTube is. Once you find your content niche, I mean, when I first started making those speed coach videos, no other channel was doing that. They weren't revolving their entire content and their entire channel around, you know, GTA speed glitches. I had a very, very specific niche that I catered to. And when I made videos that weren't that, obviously they didn't perform well. And it's, you know, it sucks because you sit there and, you know, I, I spent a lot of time on some of those, like those COD, like funny moments, montages and stuff. Those were like weeks of like recording tiny clips and then finally putting them all together and sitting down for like five hours putting them out just for him to get like 100 views. And that's like really taxing. I wouldn't say taxing, but it's like really like a big hit to your motivation because you're like, damn, I just spent like all that time for like no return, you know, like little little to no reward for it. And I mean, I don't care because I enjoyed making the video. I still watch them with my friends these days, you know, just looking back on the times. But it's always just been scary because every time I have tried to branch out to new content, it's just never worked out. And again, I'm not doing this for views or money. Um, <clears throat> but it just, it does suck, you know, not being able to see like, oh, people like this, people enjoyed this, you know, 
it just didn't reach the audiences that it needed to. And that just sucks because, you know, that's what my whole channel is kind of based on now. It's just kind of GTA. I put myself in that position. I tried to branch out too early and lost a good amount of my following. And, uh, you know, a big, I guess a big uh, part of that also is just me not posting as much anymore. I mean, I've lost an insane amount of following. Check the YouTube app on my phone. Like, every day, I just kind of see how much it goes down. And it's, you know, it hurts. You know, to be honest, it sucks. Because I built, I spent all that time building this following up. You know, even if it is just 18,000 subs. You know, you're a small YouTuber. You know, it doesn't matter. It does matter to me. <clears throat> every one person out there that watches my videos and supports them and likes them, you don't have to say anything. Like, that's, that's a big deal to me. And just losing that one person sucks. Um, it does. So... It's going to be really hard to recover, obviously, from not posting for a really long time and not doing as much stuff anymore. Especially because I do want to branch out and test more content ideas that are just not going to hit home with a lot of my current viewers. Um, you guys are mostly here for GTA, and I get that. I, I, when I follow somebody on YouTube for something, it's it's normally for like one particular game, too. But I just can't do it anymore, man. I, I have to... I need, I need to branch out and do some more things um, GTA got really stale fast and we're about to get have GTA 6 coming up obviously that'll be a new fresh take for me I'm sure I'll have fun with it but I just don't want to do the same game forever and that'd be like what I'm stuck in because that's like the biggest that's the biggest reason a lot of YouTubers just quit don't make it or just stop too early <coughs> like I almost did to be honest but so I'm here Again, to, you know, obviously apologize for all those failed promises of videos that never came out, series that never came out, and, you know, just not uploading like I, I said I would. And, you know, I'm sitting here, and, you know, the first step is kind of obviously just recognizing that, admitting it, and kind of going through the plans of what I can do to not let that happen again. But this is one of those big things that I just really want to, I want to try YouTube one more time. I want to push through it, you know, keep myself on a tight leash, do as many videos as I can, upload them when I can. I want to start off doing one video a week again, because that was a really good way for me to get back into it and go from there. Because if I, I, I feel, and I know that if I don't do this, then uh, I'm going to have a lot of regrets later in life. And I just don't ever want to stop YouTube without knowing that I did everything that I could to try to make it work. I want to do full time. Obviously, I, you know, I'm sick and tired of you know working for the man and shit. You know, I want to be my own boss. I want to have fun. I want to, you know, talk to people, meet new people all around the world. You know, um, make content that's enjoyable for them to help escape their lives. You know, their realities. That's what I want to do. So, I mean, at this point in time, I'll do anything in my power to try to regain that following back and make this work again. <clears throat> But yeah, that's really just all I wanted to say. I don't want to really ramble on too much. You guys know I'm a big yapper when it comes to, you know, just talking. I just, I could talk forever. Always just thousands of little ideas running around. Like, oh, talk about this, talk about this, talk about this. And I never really go into these videos with a script. I just, off the dome, you know. But, that's why it's so random. I don't know, maybe you guys like that. Maybe that's, maybe that's why you guys are here. I don't know. If it is, great, because it's probably never going to change. But, <laughs> um, but I do appreciate all of you guys. You know, and to those people that I am, that this is mostly for, it's, like I said earlier, it's just those people that, you know, enjoyed the content, were always waiting for it. All those OG subscribers that were there before 1K, before the face reveal. I remember most of your names still to this day. Bartons to Junior, of course. Fucking legend, man. I hope you're doing great things out there in the world. Um, really great guy. He was always there for every stream, every video. No nips. Grizz. There's plenty of others. I don't want to go down the full list, but those are like the three most prevalent people that have that I remember and I've known um, that have always watched my videos. I mean, if you guys are still here watching them, man, I fucking love you guys because if I was in your position, I would not be watching some YouTuber that fucking never posts, you know. But I do appreciate you guys a lot. You guys were one of the first ones there that really made me stay motivated. Um, even some of the new ones, you know, that have been recent. Uh, about two cakes. Um, love you too, man. Um, and Jesse. God, I forgot about Jesse. OG, man. He's a fucking OG. Um, we DM from time to time. 
and uh, he's a really great guy too. Hope you're still doing good out there, man. All love for you, but it's for the people like that. And I don't know. I just I want to do better. I need you guys to help me do that though. Um, I need you guys to critique the ever living fuck out of all my videos. Cause I like the hate comments. It makes me do better. It makes me stop staying in this. Oh, let's make this one type of video and keep making it because it's working type of thing. I need you guys to help me better myself along the way as well. And because uh, that's what I want to do. I just want to be the best that I can be and improve on every single video that I create. I don't want to get stuck in the same loop of just creating the same type of video anymore and just you know thinking that it's good enough. I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be creative, try new things. And just kind of hone my skills all the while being entertaining and helping you guys as well. So, again, I am very, very sorry. Um, I know this is probably cringy. You know, I get it. But it's just something I need to say, like I said. And it's something, it's an apology that I think you guys deserve. Um, so I do appreciate all the, you know, insane support over the years. I am a small YouTuber, but every single one of you matter to me. And I appreciate that. And I love you guys. From the bottom of my fucking heart, um, I don't know what I'd be doing right now if, you know, I ever got into YouTube. My life would be completely different. Probably suck a lot more <laughs> than it already does, but um, YouTube helps. YouTube really does help. So, like I said, I don't like making these kinds of videos because I like my content to be, you know, outside of the realm of all the terrible things in the world. I don't like talking about these touchy subjects. That I needed to talk about. And I felt you guys deserved to hear. So. With that. I'm going to quit rambling though. So you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, as soon as this video comes out. I'll probably be streaming right after. Uh, with the, I think I'm going to play iRacing or something. Um, talk to everybody. You know that I've. You know not really talked too much over the past couple of years. My fans and whatnot. Um, if you guys. You guys are welcome to come in. Say what's up. Let me know how you're doing. You know, I, I genuinely do care about you guys. You know, I do. Um, in a way, we've all kind of grown together. And I just, I want to know how you guys are doing out there. You know, if you're still, you know, watching my videos, great. If not, I get it. I don't blame you. But uh, thanks for everything you did while you were there and all the support you did while you were there. So, love you guys. And it's going to go bar times too. I'm so fucking back. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Love you.